guys, it's Adrian. Um, so it's another Whip Wednesday. There's a feather on my tutorial arm. Um, and of course, I'm actually filming this on Tuesday. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to get anything finished before tomorrow. <laughs> um, so this week, um, I actually don't have any finished objects to show you. Um, I did finish one project, um, but I can't show it on camera because it is a gift for someone and I don't want to spoil it. Um, so I'm just going to jump into showing you guys, um, my whole stack of whips that I have anyways. Um, so <clears throat> this pattern I found on uh, YouTube and of course I will link I'll link all of the patterns that I'm working on right now in the description box below um, but this right here I don't know if the colors are showing up very well this is actually a beanie and the pattern comes uh, with a what do they call it an infinity scarf as well um, this pattern is worked from the bottom up and I've never done a hat worked from the bottom up before, but I just seen this pattern and I thought it was so pretty. Um, so I've been working on that and I chose for this beanie. I did, um, Mand Mandala Sparkle in the colorway Nova. Y'all, I have this pom pom. I just think those go t together so well. Now I don't know I'm gonna I don't know that I'm gonna get through this entire scheme, but I'm thinking hopefully y'all can see the colors together on the screen all right. But I'm thinking this pom pom is gonna go really good on the top of the, this hat. Um, so I I actually started that last night just I guess just because I was getting bored um, with some of the other things. I have a tendency to get bored with a project and start a new one whether it be a smaller pattern or or whatever um you know uh just to keep from getting uh, i guess it's i guess burnout um so i showed you guys this uh shawl pattern that i've been working on last week I did show it to y'all last week. Um, it's quite a bit bigger now. I still have, I think, like four. I think I've got about four inches to go. Um, and I'm getting tired of winding Hanks up by hand. So it's probably going to sit for a little bit until I can either get a Swift or... A swift and a, and a winder or until I'm done being tired of winding yarn by hand <laughs> um, actually uh, I talk I talk a little bit about trying to find a particularly I want to start with a yarn swift but if I could get both at the same time that would be awesome um, I don't know but I the video that came out today which when y'all see this video will be tomorrow actually talks about um, being on the hunt for a yarn swift and that in particular is because I would I really want to finish this shawl um, this particular shawl pattern comes with a hat pattern and some wrist warmers as well excuse me um, so yeah and then I, I think it was last week I talked about a chunky pocket scarf that I was going to show you guys. Now, I don't remember in that video if I told y'all or not, but um, this, this scarf, um, look at all the pretty sparkles. Um, this scarf, I'm, I'm using um, some yarn that was gifted to me. Um, by Miss Belinda. Um, she's, she's been watching my channel for, uh, you know, the 
two or two or three months that I've had it. I don't even know for sure how long that I've I've been doing the YouTube videos. Um, but it seems like she's been been around at least since June. Um, and so she had she had gifted me some yarn, and um, some of the yarn that she gifted me was Lion Brands. I keep wanting to call it spectacular spectacle, but it's actually spectacular. Um, she had gifted me six skeins of this, and I'm going to attempt to make a chunky pocket scarf. I actually had to go out and buy a bigger crochet hook. Um, this one is a 15.75 millimeter hook. Um, it's what was recommended on the yarn. I didn't have anything bigger than I think. I think the biggest one I had was like a 10 millimeter, so I had to go out and get a bigger hook to work with this yarn. Um, that one is actually probably going to take me a little bit because working with uh, heavier yarns has a tendency to make my wrists ache. Um, I'm sure those that those of you that have been watching already know that. Um, so this week I did not get a poncho finished and I didn't get a gnome finished. Um, I did start the next poncho though um this one is the colorway lotus blossom um so uh you know hopefully maybe this week i can get that one finished um maybe i can get some of these projects worked up finished up um life here um has changed quite a bit so uh I'm finding it a little bit difficult to crochet as much as I would typically. Um, and you would think with the kids going back to school that things it would give me more time um, than uh, what I would usually have. Um, but uh, my family right now is going through a very we're going through a transitional phase. Um, you know, I am 34 years old and those that watch my channel, y'all know that, you know, I live, I live with my parents. Um, but recently, um, my parents separated and, you know, they, they've been together for 40 years and they've been married for 30 and so me and my kids are kind of going through a transitional phase trying to figure out how this is all going to work you know um i'm assuming this is a temporary separation you know i mean i'm pretty sure that's what it is but uh i know with my mom not being around it has it's been a little bit more difficult and I, I know that my channel is not really a vlog channel or and, and I, I do have a tendency to share a little bit of personal information that maybe not everybody would share on their channel but uh, I don't have too many friends in the outside world that I could confide in um, because I can't drive uh, my outlet is YouTube um, I know I don't know any of you guys in person, but you guys, uh, y'all, y'all are my friends. Y'all are the closest thing that I have to, you know, f friends that I could confide in about all this. And I, and, and, and you guys can shut this video off at any time. And, and I'm sorry for, for bringing up stuff that maybe y'all don't want to hear. Um, but so anyways, you know, right now things in my household are, are a little off. Um, things that my mom would usually take care of, I'm having to try to figure out how to take care of. Um, you know, things, and, and my 17 year old son is doing the same thing. Um, because mom's my mom's not here anymore and you know my daughter she's only nine and I didn't tell her what was going on I didn't think that she would be able to understand so we, we didn't tell her anything um, she just thinks that 
grandma is staying with some friends right now because her friends need some help. <laughs> um, but because of the household changes, you know, I, I'm, I'm not used to having to cook dinner. That was mom's job. Um, mom always made these huge, huge meals, you know, three course meals with desserts and big old hearty meals. Well, I can't cook at all. So we are eating lots of frozen pizza and hamburger helper and stuff like that because my dad works all the time. You know, he's, he's gone from 4 a.m. Uh, and he doesn't get home till 6 or 6.30 at night, depending on traffic. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to cook dinner and it's, <laughs> I mean, nobody's complaining, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I know it's, I, I, I know that they would prefer it if mom was here to cook. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and I have absolutely no interest in learning how to cook. <laughs> I can't stand being in the kitchen. Um, so, uh, that's, that's one huge, huge thing that is kind of, that, that has changed, that is affecting how much I can crochet or how often I can crochet or whether or not I can get things finished. Um, another thing is, is, you know, um, the kids, particularly my daughter, she likes to do her homework with her grandpa and I think, uh, you know, li living with my parents, my kids have a tendency to go to grandma and their grandpa first, you know, uh, I, at least I think so. <laughs> um, and so, you know, Casey, she prefers to do her homework with Poppy. Um, but, uh, you know, now she's trying to get me to do it because I am not the second choice. Grandma was the second choice. <laughs> so now she's trying to do her homework with me and it's, it causes huge amounts of frustration. She gets frustrated with me. I get frustrated with her because particularly because, you know, the way I learned, like I hate doing math with her because the way I learned to do it is not the way that they're teaching her to do it. And she's convinced that my way is wrong, even though we get the same answer. <laughs> and that always causes a huge fight. Um, you know, and then my, my son, you know, he's, he wants to help with his sister. Um, and he just, he doesn't understand that she's nine and she's not going to listen to him. She don't care. She doesn't know what's, she doesn't understand what's going on. And he's trying to help and he's trying to step in to help me and to help his grandfather and all of this. And <laughs> he doesn't get it. She's your brother. She's not going to listen to you. Um, and so that always causes a fight. They're always bickering and fighting and, you know, it's just a, a lot of things have changed like a whole lot around here. Um, that's also the reason why I uh, won't be making candles for a while, probably a long while. Um, you know, uh, I got to take care of the animals now, which is something that I didn't have to do. Uh, I mean, I, I always had to take care of Kiwi, but I mean, like the dogs, uh, things like that. Those are just things that mom used to do. And she's not here now and she uh she's also working full time now um so I guess I would have been taking on this stuff even if they hadn't separated um except for the dinner and the cooking part I don't think I'd have been taken because nobody wants me in the kitchen <laughs> I've never been allowed in the kitchen <laughs> um so I mean I don't I think I'm going to make September, uh, 
my abandoned whip finish month. Like I think I'm going to spend um, September just uh, trying to complete all of the abandoned whips that I have laying around here. I've got an entire basket filled with Amigurumi projects most of which are finished. They just have to be sewn together. Um, you know, I, I think I'm going to take some time, if not the whole month of September, to really, really try to complete some projects. You know, I've been working on this sunflower cardigan design for a while, and I haven't done any work on that in a couple, maybe a week or so. Yeah, probably about a week. Um, I need to get that pattern out for y'all, or that design. Um, so yeah, I, th I think that's what I'm going to do with the month of September is just really, really focus hard on whips. And of course, I'm sure that we all think that, that we're going to get all of them done. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that I will still start a new project. <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind at some point I will start a new project in September. But that is that is what I have planned for September is to just really buckle down and get all of the whips done, all of them, uh, completed, um, you know, maybe, I've been, I've been getting, like, one poncho a week done, I think, for a while now, um, but maybe during September I can get, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to put my expectations of myself too high, <laughs> Because then I'll feel like total crap when I don't meet them. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm planning for, for September. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to go. I know y'all are probably, y'all probably done clicked off. Y'all don't want to hear me babble and carry on about my personal life. But, um, I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, those of you that, you know, watch my videos regularly, um, thank you. Thank you so much, um, and I want to thank all of y'all for being there for me, um, because like I said, I don't have really, um, I don't, I don't have any, like, real life friends, um, I have you guys, and, you know, that, that's, that's really appreciated, um, so, uh, yeah. Now, if you're if you're new to my channel and you're just seeing this, I'm I do apologize. <laughs> I do apologize. I don't mean to get all, you know, personal and sappy and things like that. But if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate you giving this a thumbs up and subscribing because I promise I'm not always like this. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyways, I'll I'll catch y'all in my next video. <laughs>